When someone asked me how they can boost their YouTube channel with shorts without getting penalized or having any videos taken down or running into any other problems with our beloved algorithm, I thought the best way to answer them is to make a video about it and demonstrate exactly how it's done. This seemed like a very easy idea until I realized that the next morning I would be flying and it turns out Creating a video at an airport is not nearly as easy or as glamorous as we like to think that it is. So here is the video that I made at the airport. It means sound quality is compromised, all kinds of things are happening, and you will see planes in the background landing, taking off, and taxiing. And, well, why not take a little trip with me as we dive into this exciting topic. If you're interested in how to use your shorts for repurposing and also to understand the analytics, you'll also find some tips here. So stick around. Yesterday at the PSASA Cape Town chapter meeting, speakers were asking, how do you use YouTube shorts to get better traction on your videos, but especially in such a way that the algorithm will promote you rather than penalizing you for creating shorts because they'd heard that some people had had problems when they created shorts. Now, YouTube, like every other uh, social media platform, and in fact, any application that there is, really wants people to stay on their app. And so, YouTube essentially will reward you when you stay on your app, uh, on their app, and when you get people who are watching your channel to stay on their app. And that is why shorts are so fantastic. But one of the best ways to create shorts is to actually use the application that is inside your smartphone, the YouTube app that actually helps you to create these shorts. Now, what you're seeing in the background here is the channel of a um, client of Yazi Media that did not um, have a very much of a plan in place for YouTube. There were some posts that were a little bit erratic and uh, they didn't always happen the way that they were planned to happen because YouTube was not a priority for them. And then you can see that this didn't really make a very big dent. Many of those videos actually had zero views because the same videos were going out on other social platforms. And from there, they uh, actually only later started really using YouTube. Then in the course of 2022, I started suggesting, let's try this, let's try that. And you can see that there's much more activity. And then the spike happened as we discovered what can happen with YouTube Shorts. Now, what's interesting is that for the last month or two, we haven't created Shorts, but the Shorts that are there have really still been yielding a considerable amount of traffic compared to what there used to be pre-Shorts. So what's the secret to actually creating the Shorts so that they really are punchy and so that YouTube feeds them? Now, just like every other application out there, and especially the social media platforms, YouTube wants viewers to stay on their channel. Why? Because people who stay on their channel are giving them data and they are putting their eyes on those YouTube ads, which of course is how YouTube makes its money. And that's why when you create content that people want to watch, well, YouTube will reward you, not only by showing that to more people, but also of course with its gradual monetization processes and just showing the videos that you have made that people are liking. So success really breeds success on every social media platform and YouTube rewards you in so many ways for this. Shorts are one of the best ways to bring in new viewers who wouldn't otherwise find you to come and watch the videos that you created. Now, there are many ways to create shorts, and of course, you can make short videos with just that purpose in mind. But on YouTube, because watch time is so important, there is a great strategy to make this happen. And in fact, I'm demonstrating that with this video. And the first thing to do is to be sure that people really will want to watch the content that you create. And that's what's significant about this video, because people were asking. People actually want to see the answer to this question that they had of how do you create YouTube shorts that get you rewarded rather than penalized on YouTube? How can you be sure that you don't use lose the content that you create so that YouTube doesn't take the video down, but rather uses the shorts to bring people into you? And as always, YouTube likes to provide the solutions. So that is what we're going to dive into next. Another really good piece of advice with this is to keep your thoughts to those 60 second snippets. It's quite a discipline, especially if your thoughts go all over the place. So as a speaker or as a communicator or as a, a thought leader, it really helps to have thoughts that you can put into 60 seconds or preferably less. So look at how the sentence can be shorter, look at how the message can be punchy and that every thought is complete and wrapped up within itself because then you have a very meaningful 60 second slot. Something else that we're going to be doing is to choose a series of these one minute snippets and we're going to link them all to that longer video and that will then bring more people in and then we can create a playlist from this. The playlist will help us to ensure that people watch one video and then the next and then the next and then the next. So all this brings people back to your longer video and you'll be surprised what happens to your analytics because you just might find that as you look into your YouTube analytics, you'll see that people find you through the short and then end up watching the longer video and very often subscribing if your content answers the questions they're asking about or the problems that they are having. So that's another important strategy we'll be using here.
Before you start, if you want to make this easy for yourself, there are three fantastic apps that will help you make this so much easier and more fun. So go and get them first before you move on. The first is the official YouTube app. The next is the official YouTube Studio app, which helps you to track the analytics of your videos in more detail. And then there is the Shorts Saver app, which will help you to download the shorts that you create on YouTube so that you have these as files that you can use and repurpose in your other applications from TikTok to Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and other platforms. So go and get those first before you move on. Got them? OK, now that you're back, let's get started. Open your YouTube app and you'll find that in the bottom right corner, there will be a little icon with you on it. When you tap this one, it will give you a chance to view your channel. And as you view your channel, you can move into the video that you want to remix. I'm going to use the one here to demonstrate about get your book written. And uh, that is the one that I click. And to open that up, I then start seeing the video and you'll see below this there is a little bar that says remix you might need to scroll down to find this or to tap the video to make it large so that you can get access to this remix function now when you remix your own videos you can create a 15 or a 60 second video uh, using your own video. If you do this with other people's videos, you'll have less time. But fortunately, with your own, you get much more time to use this. Now here, you can either edit it into a short, you could just use the sound or collaborate with someone, or do a green screen or do some cuts. But the easiest way to get started is just try out edit into a short. So select that one. And you will then find that the default setting is probably going to be 15 seconds. You might want to turn this up to 60 seconds because it's a little bit more watch time and it gives you a chance to say a bit more. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find this little tab where you can slide the video along to select the 60 seconds that you want. Now you can uh, adjust this slightly to make it shorter um, and you can edit ever so slightly, but it's not a very sophisticated instrument. So choose your 60 seconds well. And then as you're ready, you can then go to layouts, which gives you an option to have your vertical layout as on a smartphone, or you could have a split screen with two thirds or half or two thirds at the bottom. And you could even opt for square. Now, I'm going to be opting for square on this one. And as you then click to your next step, you have an option to add text and other sound. You could even use filters. And there are some other fun functions here. But let's add text first. This is important, especially if you're going to be repurposing and sending it to another channel or another platform. And uh, you can use different formats for your text. It really does help to have a background that's very solid and then have text that stands out against that. That's why I use a red background and white text. When you're happy with this, you can shrink or grow your text as well. And then you can also add a question. You'll find that there's a timeline function, so that gives you a chance to um, add the text that it doesn't show all the time if you want to refine it a little bit more. And then for the question, you even can get responses from your viewers, which then show up as comments. And that, of course, is a great way to get engagement, which is always one of the most important metrics that drives whether YouTube supports your activity. And that's, of course, this, the same for every single other channel there is. So using questions and other strategies to engage your audience will definitely serve you well. Now, when you're happy, you're going to move on and here you'll be able to add a title and some other 
details. So it really helps to have a catchy title here that's going to attract your viewers, but you also want to add the hashtag shorts. And you could also add a hashtag with your other topics that you are speaking about, or be sure that you use the keywords in your title. Then scroll down before you do anything else and find you can add other information. You do want to be sure that your visibility is public. Uh, if you want to add your location, that could be relevant if it's at a place that's, for example, a scenic tourist location. And uh, then you add your related video. This is very important because it will help people to find your video if they are looking to find out more. Now, since you made this from a longer video, you can understand that when people go through and watch the longer video, you get more watch time and so more credit from YouTube. And also if you're working to monetize your channel or build your income there, that is a great way to do it. And so when you're happy with this, you can upload your short. And after a few minutes, it will show in your feed. Um, it, uh, YouTube will notify you when it's up. If you don't find it, go into your channel again and look for the shorts and you will then see that it's there. It will probably be showing with no views yet, but go and tap it and copy the link. You will hit share and then copy the link. And that's when you take it to your short saver app and you can download it from there. And then to see what's happening with your video, you can always go take a look at the YouTube studio where you'll have a little bit more feedback as information comes through. What I've been finding in the YouTube studio is that I often see how many of the shorts actually bring people into the channel for the first time, then to watch the longer form video, and then very often to subscribe and return. And that, of course, is what we're really after here if we want to boost our channel. And so that is how you can make sure that the videos that you create on YouTube can get more viewers, bring in more viewers who stay on to watch, who then become subscribers, watch your longer videos, and become part of a loyal following that helps you to grow your YouTube channel, grow your awareness and your footprint. And once you have more subscribers, there are even more benefits because, of course, not only is there the option of monetization on YouTube, but you also have more advocates and you then are in a strong position with more followers to do things like brand deals or get a sponsorship for things that you put on your channel. Or if you are doing any affiliate marketing, that you also have a wider audience that is then interested in the message that you have. So all this counts and this is how we're going to do it. I hope you have fun with this and if it's the kind of thing that you would like to know more about, let me know in the comments. Also, well, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the Yazi Media YouTube channel here at, at Yazi Media on YouTube and, well, let me know what you'd like to know next. This is all about seeing where your channel can take you, so let's see and let us know what your channel is so I can follow you back and we can support each other. I'm looking forward to your shorts and let those shorts grow into big, great things for you.